Hey guys, thanks for tuning in on another video of mine. Uh, yesterday, I'll make this one really quick. Yesterday, I went out to Philadelphia uh, with my friends and my wife, and I brought a camera. No big surprise there, but I brought the Leica M10. The Leica M10 is an amazing camera. I love this camera, um, everything about it. Uh, it's nice to slow down and just manual focus and just really just practice on exposure and just really take my time. And this camera allows me to do that. I have on this camera the amazing uh, Hyperion uh, cord straps. These, uh, let me get my face out of the way. These cord straps are awesome. Uh, I have them on everything. They come in different designs, different color and uh, leather and whatnot. So uh, really a great and uh, effective way to carry your strap, real simple design. Uh, quality is amazing and the people are so nice to deal with. So I would definitely recommend them. I'll put a link below. But getting back to the, um, back to the video at hand here. Um, set out to Philadelphia, shot some frames with the amazing 28 millimeter Elmerit on the Leica M10. And a couple shots during the day and a couple shots at night. But really what I wanted to do with this is feature some of my color presets that I've been developing. Uh, some of them are up on my website right now at josephdagostinophotography.com. You can check them out. Um, I have a couple different color grades as well as a monochrome. But what I'm really working hard on is a Kodachrome preset. Now, I know we're never gonna get close to the original. It's really, really difficult to emulate Kodachrome. There's so many nuances in regards to the film and the way it reacts off of light and whatnot, but we're getting close. And at least I think that this preset that I'm working on, and I'm gonna be releasing it soon, I think it's gonna give us something close that we can kind of use as a base layer that you guys can tweak a little bit further if you like. Um, I'm also working on a Cinestill 800T, which is a tungsten balanced film, but it looks phenomenal at night. Um, it really gives you a nice uh, contrasty, um, really nice tones and gradation. So I'm working on that one as well. Um, I'm gonna be releasing both of these soon. They'll be on my website if you choose to check them out. But all the photos that you see following are all gonna be edited with that software, uh, with those color grades, as well as a few of the other ones that I have up on my site right now. Additionally, if you wanna see high res uh, images of you know, the, the, the frames that we're gonna post up here on the video following, uh, you can head to my Adobe profile, um, sorry, my Adobe uh, portfolio link, and that will be linked below as well, and you can get the high res images so you can kind of see a little bit more about the tones if that's something that you guys want and maybe wanna download. But thank you again for tuning in and thank you for checking out my work as always. If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell because we are gonna be pumping out a lot more. I'm really looking forward to uh, doing a shoot on the uh, X-Pro3 as well as the X100V as well when that comes out. But um, for now, this is Philadelphia, the way I see it, the way I shoot it with the Leica M10.